Hello everybody and welcome to, uh, well it's an update video for Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign. Yes, at the end, you're not hearing things, at the end of the last video I did sum up and said, you know, leave your comments, etc. Because the campaign is over for this set of parts. However, this update video is in relation to the passing of our noble king. King Ambrose, king for I think almost 30 years, maybe a shade over 30 years. He came to power when he was in his 20s, I believe. He died at 61. He was a king for over 30 years and the empire, or the kingdom rather, under his reign has seen a radical change. He brought family members together, working together on multiple fronts. He's managed to you know, look at the treasury. He's managed to negotiate uh, a full-scale war with multiple factions and keep his treasury intact, keep his settlements under under wraps and you know under control. He used assassins and spies to the maximum effect, and you know, totally assassinated the uh, pope in Rome, and then uh, sanctioned Mitchell to go forth and full-scale assault Rome. Maybe he's, he's seen his kingdom excommunicated more times than I care to imagine, but he's also seen the first English Pope under his reign. So he has managed to command his troops, his his kingdom, oversee his kingdom in such a fashion as it's, you know, to, the, to me, personally playing Total War games, he has been my greatest and most memorable family member ever in any Total War game at all. And I will never, as long as I bloody live, forget the reign of King Ambrose the Tyrant. Because it was absolutely superb. So, this update video, I'm asking for some help in relation to King Ambrose. Now, first of all, at the end of the last part, we were so close to the end of time that I didn't have a chance to give him a minute's silence. Uh, because, by God, if anybody deserves it, he does. So that is what I will observe as of now. Everybody observe it with me. The King Ambrose the Tyrant has sadly passed away. The greatest king England has ever seen. Starting from now. Thank you, and that is the end of the minute's silence. God bless you, King Ambrose, we'll never forget you. And I only hope that future kings have half as much talent as you did, because if not, this kingdom could crumble beneath our very feet. Your hard work could go up in flames. I sincerely hope that doesn't happen. Right, so why an update video, and what am I going to ask you guys to do? Now, he has reigned for so long, he has achieved so many things, some of which I've already outlined. He started out as a king, um, he started out, his first uh, work was actually the obliteration of the French. He was responsible, he commanded an army personally, and along with Nicholas Horston, together they fought the French and basically eradicated them from this known existence. That was his first act. He went back to London and from there... He took his reign as king and from then on did his stuff. So, what I'm asking you guys to do, it's going to take some time, it's going to take some effort on your part, and I'm sure I can get maybe three or four people, maybe even more, might be interested in doing this. Um, it's not going to be quick and easy, but the benefits will pay off, I'm sure. It's going to be, I'm asking you to do, to write a biography outlining King Ambrose's life as King of England. You know? So, that's basically it. I want you to look back over the 
previous parts of medieval where Ambrose was um, king of England his achievements you know and basically give me a biography now I don't want total war and peace you know 50 page epic bloody biography but similarly his achievements can't really be summed up in their true entirety with just a paragraph so it's going to have to be some decent length um, to outline his life the excitement under his reign the ups the downs some of his acts were quite bad and you know heartless some of them on the other hand might not have been but I want you guys to look back through the previous parts and sit down and write a biography of the life and times of the great King Ambrose why should you want to do that well first of all because the winning biography will be picked by myself the one I like the most will be picked and that biography will a be posted on uh, the website which is not now long no longer an RP element thing but I will rejig the website around and your biography will be posted on the website for all to see and read about the King Ambrose's times um, and a link will be posted to that and secondly the biography that does win will be used as the basis for a montage video which I will make um, about King Ambrose's life so everything included in your biography about King Ambrose along with some of the quotes from that biography will be used in a montage video and also the winning biography the winning author of that biography will have the opportunity to set the backing music to that montage as well so there you go that is the reason why you may want to do it I'm hoping that we, I get you know over the next week or so get some really cracking biographies to read of the life and times of King Ambrose because he he deserves it so that's what I'm asking you that's what this update video is about so uh, all that remains to be seen is uh, for me to read these things so what I'm going to do is on this video I'm going to post a link to a, a email address that I will set up purely to receive these biographies I will set I will post the email link on the description send once you've completed your biography send them in to that email address on the description I will receive them read through them the winning biography will be picked by me and that biography will be used to create the montage video along with quotations the full biography will be posted on my website for all to read as well and you can pick the backing music for the montage video so at the end of this experience before the next set of updates for medieval 2 we will have a biography of King Ambrose's times a montage and some music to look back at his life and times set by the winning author let me know if it's a good idea or not I'm fingers crossed gonna receive uh, a nice amount of uh, biographies to read and reminisce about King Ambrose's life so until then get writing I'll see you next time. Any questions, leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer it. See you soon.